once you're in here, you could sit on a cushion, a blanket, or even um, a, one of those meditation cushions. So whatever that feels the best to you. If you know your back isn't feeling entirely happy this morning, it is okay to lean back onto something. Um, leaning against the wall provides a really nice support for your whole spine, for your whole back. So make sure that you're 100% comfortable. Yeah, and then once you're here, let's um, start out with palms down and close your eyes and inhale, roll shoulders up and then exhale, roll your shoulders right back. So you can keep your eyes closed, take a deep inhale, and a deep exhale all the way out. Releasing shoulders down, relax the jaws as well. Yeah, because a lot of times we tend to hold a lot of tension right into the jaws, right into the neck. So letting that whole area release. And then slowly, as you're here, um, maybe you rub your palms together, creating a little bit more of heat in between your palms. And once you're here, just take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, you can lightly place your palms above your eyes. So if you have glasses, maybe set it aside for now. Um, good one if you feel overstimulated or you've been reading for a long period of time on the computer screen or um, sometimes even watching a movie. I sometimes feel this too. So anything that you've been staring at for a prolonged period of time, rest your eyes for a few seconds. So still keeping your eyes closed, bring your palms together and again, rub them together, creating a little more heat. Let's take a deep inhale. And then as you exhale, place your palms right onto heart center. Finding a little more sense of ease into your breath. Feeling the expansion of your inhale and the slow release of your exhale. Again, note if you're holding tension into the jaw. As you're here, release both palms down onto your knees. And then as you exhale, chin towards chest open right in between the shoulder blades. And then inhale, chin up, chest up, wide and cross collarbones. Exhale, chin towards chest, giving the little cat like spine. Inhale, chin up, chest up. Um, yeah, if you had your back against something, definitely kind of scoot away from the wall just a little bit more so you have a little more space here. I'm just going to do little movements um, for your spine, for your back, and then we'll come back into a pranayama. So inhale, you're going to open up your eyes gently, reach your arms all the way up overhead, and then as you exhale, bring your right hand down onto the floor or onto the block. Left hand comes behind your head. This first one, inhale, you're going to open your elbow out wide, and then exhale, and gently close it. Inhale, you can open it, and then exhale, gently close. Yeah, this movement, um, you make it pretty small for starters. And as you get more warmed up, feel free to make the movement a little bit bigger. So you're just trying to warm up into the side of your body as well as your low back. 
this next time as you open your elbow out wide, maybe you reach your arm out and three times, let's do a little bit of a through the needle. So as you exhale, bring your right, uh, left arm behind your right, open right back out and then exhale, sweep it. Inhale, open and exhale. This next time you can just hold it right here, reach your top arm up overhead, exhale, bend your top elbow as you look at your right hand, and then inhale, reach your top arm up, look up, and then exhale, bend your top elbow, look down, inhale, reach right back up. And then exhale, and this time um, just gently pull your right left elbow back a little bit, just where you feel this nice opening. Yeah, you don't want to feel any tension here. And then slowly, as you come right back up, bring your left hand down, reach your right arm all the way up, bring your right hand behind your head. Same thing, relax your left shoulder away from your ears. Draw your top elbow away, exhale, close, inhale, open, and then exhale, close. So just a couple more times here, um, nice and easy. Mm -hmm. And you can always continue here. Otherwise, start to go into thread the needle, reach your right arm out, exhale, bring it behind the left, inhale, reach it right back out, and then behind the left. You're really thinking of this sweeping motion here. Okay. And then this next time, reach your right arm up, up overhead, a little bit more involvement with the neck. Exhale, bring your top elbow down, look at your um, bottom hand. Inhale, reach your top arm up, look up, exhale, bend. Be aware that if you're feeling a little stiffer through the neck and shoulders this morning, uh, make this movement lighter in that case, yeah? And then you're gonna hold it here, bend the top elbow, pull it back slightly. Continue to look down at your uh, left hand. Yeah, if that's a little too much, bring your arm forward a little bit or reach it out or hand behind. So you're going to come right back up, bring your right hand behind your left hand onto your knee and come into a twist this time. Um, once again, continue to shake your head. Yeah. Continue to open up into the neck. And you can settle looking over your left shoulder and encourage your right shoulder to draw back a little bit more. Just to reopen here into the side of the neck. Right back center, bring your right arm over your left. So either our hands on opposite elbows or give yourselves a big hug or come into your classic Garudasana, uh, whatever option that you choose, uh, make movements. This could be twisting movement, this could be up and down movement, um, sideways motion, motion, circular. Just take your time and let your shoulders um, start to release. And then just as gently unravel. Um, this next time, switch across over your legs. So if you have your uh, left leg forward, just switch it. Yeah. And then from here, same thing, lengthen through spine and then start out with a little twist. Again, you can gently shake your head. Yeah, if that makes you dizzy in any way, feel free to just continue looking over one, one shoulder or the other. And maybe I would say pause and look over your right shoulder, draw your left shoulder back. You can continue to move, lifting your chin up and down. Yeah, anything that's neck related, be quite cautious with it. Slowly as you come back center, Bring your left arm over your right, either take hold of opposite elbows or hugging or gargasana, and continue with the movements that you did before. Mm -hmm. It doesn't even have to be exactly the same variation that you did before. You can always change it up too.
right? And then just as slowly, you're going to come right back up. Unravel your arms and this time um, extend both legs out. Just give them a little shake. And they've been bent for a while. So fingertips away from you. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, release your head back. Let's take a deep inhale. And a deep exhale all the way out. All right. And then slowly as you come up, um, you can keep your legs extended or you can recross them or soles or repeat together, knees apart. Once again, interlace your hands, elbows are out wide. Exhale, chin towards chest, open right in between the shoulder blades. Inhale, chin up, chest up. Exhale, pull right back in. Inhale, open. And then exhale, perfect. Okay, this next time um, for maybe a minute or so, come back into a really comfortable seat and we'll come into pranayama. So this one, um, I'm going to do it with arm vari or hand variations with the inhales and exhales, because I know I've used the metaphor of, um, or an example of, as you inhale, feel the uh, petals of a flower open, and then as you exhale, close. So we're gonna kind of do that with our hands as well. So this first one coming into more of a lotus mudra. So with the lotus, you're bringing your pinky finger and thumb finger together, and then your ring finger, middle finger, and forefinger are away. So this is gonna be an open flower, yeah? So now bring everything together. Your fingertips are lightly closing, so it's just kind of into a little seed, yeah? Right in front of heart center. So as you inhale, slowly start to bring ring finger, uh, middle finger, forefinger away. Maybe it's just opening up just a little bit more. And then as you exhale, slowly start to close them. Maybe uh, ring finger, middle finger, forefinger together. Yeah. So inhale, open. You can even spread your fingertips apart a little bit more. And then exhale, close. And then, and then just continue. And just know that what you're doing with your arms or with your hands, that's what's happening on the inside. Yeah, I mean, the diaphragm um, is just extending open and then exhale or other open, just extending upwards and then closing, lowering. Same thing with the pelvic floor. With each inhale, just open and then exhale, closing. Same thing with the ribs, the lungs. Let's do one more of that. And exhale. Okay. Let's kind of the theme of class of this open and closing action that we're going to do within our physical body, but just in your head, keep this in mind as you're breathing. Yeah. So you're going to roll over your shins and come onto your hands and knees, wrists underneath the shoulders, come into your classic cat cow. So inhale, chin up, chest up. Exhale, open. Yeah, right in between the shoulder blades, inhale, chin up, chest up. And then exhale, pulling the navel in and back. Okay, and then from here, I'm gonna have you open up through the low back a little bit more. So as you bring your spine back into a neutral position, slide your right knee back just a tiny bit. And then exhale, slide your hips back. It doesn't have to touch all the way to your heels. And then inhale, chin up, chest up. Switch, bring your right knee forward, left knee slides back as you exhale, slide back. Inhale, you're gonna come right back, center, knees are level with one another. And then just continue to go side to side. Yeah, and again, this is a little bit more of a lopsided child's pose. So if you want to exaggerate it, 
feel free to kind of uh, shift your hips over towards the right when the left knee draws back. Whatever motion that's going to help open up into the low back and start to warm up into the low back. Okay, let's go for one more to the right and then one more to the left. And slowly as you come right back center, um, this next time Chakra Vakasana, which is a sunbird variation. So as you exhale, you're gonna round your low back slightly towards your heels. Now, as you inhale, as you come up, you're not going to come up into um, cow spine. You're going to bring your spine into a neutral position as you come back into a tabletop. Yeah. And then exhale, round back slightly as you slide your hips back. Remember, your knees and your legs are um, parallel to one another once again. And then bring your low back into a neutral position as you come up. So it, um, it does take a little bit more awareness and a little bit more groundedness because we're so used to kind of going up and down. But make this movement a little more quiet for your whole back. Then you can always tap your elbows down and then bring spine back neutral as you lift. Round back, tap your elbow down to the ground. Yeah. And yeah, so we'll just do that a couple more times. And then just one more. And then as you bring everything back here, um, draw your right hip towards your right shoulder, look over your right shoulder, come right back center, left hip towards your left shoulder, look over your left shoulder, come back center. And then just continue to go side to side to side. So you're kind of shortening one side and elongating the other rather than tipping your hips, yeah? So you're kind of squeezing with one side of your hip towards your shoulder. Okay, now we're going to come back into that um, closing and opening action. So just come onto your forearms really briefly. And your right hand is going to come behind your head. Elbow is open wide and then exhale, close. Inhale, gently open, exhale, close. Um, try not to open too much. You might not go quite as far as you did before. And then exhale as you close both forearms down and then switch left hand behind you, left elbow up. Exhale, gently close, inhale, open. And then exhale, close. Yeah, and then maybe just one more here. Okay, and then now come right back onto your palms, right arm all the way up overhead, and now come into thread needle, exhale, slide it behind your left, inhale, reach your top arm up, exhale, slide it behind your left, uh-huh, reach it right back up. And this next time, as you exhale, slide it behind the left, step the wrist, shoulder, and side of the head down onto the ground, you can keep your left palm next to your face, towards the top of the mat, or up and come into a half bind. Mm -hmm. So once again, opening up right in between the shoulder blades. Good. And then slowly slide your um, left palm next to your face, reach your right arm all the way up overhead. Exhale, settle it right back down. Left arm reaches up, same thing. Reach it behind the right. Open right in between shoulder blades. Inhale, open. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, set the wrist, shoulder, and side of the head down onto the ground. And you can keep your right palm next to your face or towards the top of the mat or come into a half bind. Mm -hmm. 
And again, you don't have to do exactly the same variation you did on side one. Right palm next to your face, reach your left arm all the way up overhead. Exhale, bring both hands right back down. Extend your right leg straight back behind you. Dig the ball of your foot down. You'll just push back, come forward, push back, come forward. I'm sorry, I'm a little tight this morning. Okay, so getting a little bit more into the hip mobility. Um, I'm going to warm you up a little bit more first. So bring your right leg straight out to the side, big toe in line with your right knee. You just move your hips side to side. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit of a creakiness maybe. And then you'll bring your right, all five toes of your right toes up. As you exhale, kind of slide back. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, slide back. Inhale, come right back up. So you kind of go back and forth here, opening up into the inner thighs. Yeah, there we go. And then slowly as you come right back center, um, bring your leg back in. I'm gonna do a little bit of a hip strengthener. So if you've had um, hip replacement or any sort of um, injuries, be quite cautious with this, maybe a small movement might, would be fine. You want to utilize the muscles here. So you're going to bring your right leg out to the side, exhale, close. Inhale, out to the side, exhale, close. Okay, so you're, you, you're using a lot of your core strength here too, so pulling the core in the back. Um, if this movement is still feeling fine to you and you're holding pretty steady, you can start to circle your leg. And then keep your heel towards your seat so your whole leg is moving as one unit, and then maybe reversing it. I know you'll you'll start to kind of feel a little bit of a burn into the outer right seat. That's okay. That's that's a that's a good thing. I mean, some muscles are working for you. And then exhale, set your both knees right back down. Left leg extends. Dig the ball of your foot down. You'll push back and forward. Push back and forward. And then as you come back center, bring your left leg straight out to the side, sorry, Mulch. And then just move your hips a little bit more side to side. Yeah, continue to breathe. Continue to really deep, deep inhales and deep exhales out, yeah. Then from here, uh, bring your left toes upwards, exhale, slide your hips back, inhale, come forward, exhale, slide your hips back. So again, the hips don't have to touch the heels, it's just kind of that general direction that you're going. You're opening up the inner thigh. And, and a little bit of hamstrings too, actually. I feel in my hamstrings this morning. And then slowly as you come right back center, set both knees side by side. And same thing once again, you can bring your leg out to the side, exhale, close. So it's just kind of like a little clamshell movement. Or if you want, you can start to make circles, okay? So think of it almost like a tracing a quarter size circle with your knees. and reverse. Again, let the core get really involved. Right, and then set both knees down. You're gonna slide your hips back, toes together, knees apart into a child's pose, and just move your forehead a little bit more side to side.
And as you slowly, slowly roll back up, let's draw the soles of your feet together, knees apart, lengthen through spine, exhale, lean forward, and just move a little bit more side to side. Yeah, um, just to kind of reopen into the outer hips. Okay. Um, when you're ready, roll over your shins and let's come into down dog. So if um, down dog is not part of your practice today, that's absolutely fine. You can just stay in child's pose or come onto your forearms and do more of a dolphin pose. So once again, reopening up into the backs of your legs. So fingertips are spread wide, just take a deep inhale and exhale. Opening up into the front side a little bit more, especially into the hip flexors. So you're going to step your right foot towards your right thumb, set your back knee down onto the ground, and slowly as you lift, you're going to tuck the tailbone under slightly here, yeah, and then you can kind of shift forward and back very, very slightly. Mm -hmm. Really continuously push down into the front foot very deeply, yeah. Inhale, you're going to reach your arms up, and then as you exhale, bend your elbows. Yeah, and then push your arms forward. Exhale, pull them back into 90 degrees. Exhale, push, pull them back in. Exhale, open. Yeah, and then this next time, as your elbows pull back, bring your hands behind your head. Elbows are wide and bring and just little twists. Bring your left elbow forward. Keep your hips facing forward. Inhale, you're gonna come right back center. Now twist over towards the left. So your right elbow comes forward, come right back center, and just continue to twist side to side. Okay, so this is a little bit more for your spine. So again, try to keep your hips level and the movement's gonna be quite small. And then once you're back center, bring both hands down. If you have a block or stack of books, feel free to have it right underneath your left palm, right arm reaches up, exhale, close, inhale, right arm reaches open, exhale, close. So again, it's a, this twisty spiral movement. Keep it light and this next time, just hold it into this little bit of a twist if you want. Again, don't worry about how far you're twisting. Yeah, because as we move, you're gonna be able to go a little bit further, but try not to, but try not to, um, push into it, yeah? You're coaxing your twist. As you exhale, slowly release right back down. Um, and then, yeah, let's bring your right leg straight out. Option to reach your left arm forward, exhale, elbow in the in towards one another. Inhale, re reaching out, exhale, pulling in. Hips are level, shoulders are squared, exhale. Okay, this next time, bring both hands and knees right back down and just step your left foot forward. Okay, ground down into your left foot. Tuck the tailbone under slightly. You're gonna reach your arms all the way up. Mm -hmm. And then just pause to right here. So again, tucking under, you can have your hands right above your knees for this first one too, like we did before. You can kind of move forward and back. Breathe into the hip flexor. This one's um, a really good one if you've gone for a run or gone for a long hike or a walk. There's the uh, hills around the city. Always a little steep, right? So you're gonna reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, bend your elbows. Push forward, pull back. Push forward, pull back. So just um, be aware that you're not hinging, yeah? I will give you plenty of opportunities later on to do that. But for now, you're just getting into the shoulders. And this next time, as your elbows pull back, bring your hands behind your head, your elbows are out wide, gently twist side to side. So really press down into your front foot, come back center, switch, come back center. Just be sure that your shoulder blades aren't hiking up. Let it be nice and easy. Like hanging down, your shoulder blades are hanging down your back like cakes. So you're gonna come right back center and I would say bring your hand onto the block or onto the ground. Um, and then your left arm reaches up, 
exhale, close, inhale, reach, exhale, close. You might feel that you're a little bit more mobile now, yeah? Because we've been kind of doing this up and down motion for a little bit. And then whenever you're ready, hold into this twist. Yeah, let your right hip drop down just a little bit more. And as you exhale, slowly release right back down. Step your left leg straight back and maybe reach your opposite arm forward. Exhale, elbow knee in. Inhale, reaching out. Exhale, pull it. And then reaching out. Last one. And reach out and then bring both hands right back down, both knees back down. Tuck your toes and your hips up and back. And then walk your feet towards your hands. Feet are hip width and parallel, knees are stuck. Take hold of opposite elbows and just swing a little bit side to side. So hands above or below the knees. Inhale halfway up length and through the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale. And exhale. This next time, inhale, you're going to lengthen all the way up. Take hold of your right wrist. Exhale, side bend towards the left. Knees are still soft. Inhale, you're going to come right back up. Take hold of your left wrist. Side bend. Inhale, you're going to come right back up. Make a fist. Place the fist on your sacrum. Elbows are in. Lift your chest up. Exhale, gently release your head back. So your knees remain pretty soft. Inhale, you're going to come right back up. Roll shoulders up towards your ears. Exhale, roll them back. So one more time in. And then exhale. Good. Um, you're going to ground down into your right foot and let's step back with your left. So you're about full one leg distance between your feet. And um, it is okay to bring your left leg out just a little bit. So you're not really on a balance beam. Yeah. Bend through the front knee. You're going to reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, bend your elbows. And then now you can push forward, reach. Exhale, pull back. One across collarbones. Exhale, push forward, reach. And then pull back. One more. And then pull back, reaching right here. Maybe your arms to lift up. But again, keep the shoulders pretty nice and easy. Um, instead of narrowing your arms, maybe a lot, draw them a little bit wider. And then slowly release here, interlace your hands, draw the knuckles back or take hold of a strap, pull it back, and you're going to hinge forward just a tiny bit more. Let your back leg anchor down onto the floor. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then long inhale lifts you right back up, lift your back heel up, step it forward, and you'll switch directions here. So ground that into your left foot, step back with your right, switch around so I can see you. Bend through the front knee, reach your arms all the way up nice and easy, and then just pause here. Yeah, front, front knee above your ankle, mm -hmm. inner thigh spiraling out, back inner thigh spiraling in, yeah. And then as you exhale, bend and reach forward. Exhale, pull back, reach forward. Mm -hmm. When you're ready, reach your arms up. You can draw your narrow up your arms or draw it out. And you can interlace your hands, draw the knuckles down the line across the collarbones, open. Again, if this is too much, um, just take hold of a strap. Yeah. And then slowly unravel, lift your back heel. Step it all the way forward and release. Inhale, roll shoulders up. Exhale, roll them back. Yeah, so that was a lot of um, front line openings. Hopefully that is feeling pretty good. Now we're gonna go back into kind of um, a little bit of a wider stance. So draw your feet out, all 10 toes forward. You're gonna reach your arms out as you exhale, side bend over towards the right. Yeah, inhale, you're gonna come right back up, exhale, side bend towards the other direction. And then continue to go side to side, like you're about to do a cartwheel. Yeah, 
And then this um, next time the right hand draws down, left arm reaches up like what, what we did on the ground. Exhale, bend your elbow, look at your right foot. Inhale, reach your top arm up, look up. Exhale, bend your top elbow, look down. Inhale, reach up. And this next time as you bend, you can hold it right here. You can reach it out or thumb down, bend your elbow, hook up behind you and just work with this openness of the shoulder. And then slowly you're gonna come right back, reach your arm out. As you exhale, side bend over towards the left, bend your top elbow, look down. Inhale, reach your top arm up, look up. Exhale, bend your top elbow, look down. Lengthen up. This next time, hold it right here or reach it out or thumb down, bend your elbow, bring it behind you. And so any variation that feels the best to you. Okay, and then just as slowly as you come right back up, hands behind you. Once again, that little speed skater movement, bend your right knee, hinge your upper body forward, inhale, lift upright, exhale, bend your left knee, come upright, yeah. So um, it is kind of like a sideways lunge, but you're not really shifting your weight that much. It's more of a bending of your knee, yeah? Shifting just a tiny bit. Okay, so let's do one more to the right and then one more to the left. Slowly as you come right back center, reach your arms up, exhale, bring your hands down onto the ground, lengthen through the spine, right hand underneath your face, left arm reaches up. And again, feel free to have a lock and your top arm sweeps right behind your uh, right arm. Inhale, reach right back up, exhale, sweep. Inhale, reach. Exhale. And if you want to hold on to this twist, feel free to hold on to it. If um, having your hand arm um, behind your right feels a little bit better, definitely feel free to stay there as well. Exhale, release right back down and then switch. Right arm reaches up. Exhale, come behind the left. Lengthen, exhale. And you can stay right here or you can hold it right behind your um, left arm. And then just as lightly, you can bring your hands down onto the ground, then one knee, then the other. You can walk your fingertips forward or back. Yeah, so coming right back center. Walk your hands back, hands onto your hips. Long inhale lifts you right back up. Inhale, roll shoulders up. Exhale, roll them back. Okay, so this next time, um, draw your feet in. Feet can be hip-width parallel or zipped all the way together. So again, coming back a little bit more into the glute muscles. So as you exhale, bend your knees, fingertips sweep to the ground, come into Utkakasa, chair pose. Mm -hmm. And then inhale, stand right back up. Exhale, bend, shift a lot of weight in towards your heels. And then exhale, come right back up. So a couple more times here, just gonna warm up. And feel free to bring your arms a little bit wider too, especially if you know that you tend to carry a lot of tension into your shoulders. Okay, so this next time, you're gonna hold this bend, palms come together, trace them in line. And now twist over towards the right. So your hips are staying fairly level, knees are fairly level. Now, um, those of you who want, you can always drop your left elbow outside of your right knee and then gently twist that way. Sometimes not the most comfortable for me, so. <laughs> and then slowly come right back up, reach, and then switch over to the other direction, bend and rotate over. Hips are staying level, knees are staying level. Bottom hand pushes up, top hand pushes down. And then slowly you're gonna come right back up, reach your arms down and coming into more of um, 
a balance pose. So coming into Garudasana, yeah, we've been kind of doing this shape for a little bit. So your knees are pretty soft. Um, let's grab down into your right leg. Left leg can step over, or you, you can bring a block or something that's um, shaped like a block, but definitely something steady, and it rests your toes onto the block. Bend your knees, your inner thighs are kind of pulling inwards. You reach your arms out, bring your left arm under, either give yourselves a big hug or come into full guard asana, lift your fingertips up, and then lower down. So your glute muscles, your outer hips, as well as just your um, stem of your seat, right where the hamstring meets the seat muscle, that is also really engaged here. Yeah. So any sort of variation that feels the best. Yeah. And then just as lightly, you're gonna come right back up, unravel and set it right back down, switch over to the other side. Yes, yeah, so if you were using the block, bring the block onto the other side and bring your right leg over, bend your knees, reach your arms out, and bring your right arm under, either give yourselves a big hug, fingertips up, hips are level, and you can slowly start to lean forward. Open right in between shoulder blades. So I might feel a little differently. Yeah, so just continue to breathe. Just want to take a look at everybody out. So good. Yeah, nice one. Good, good, good. All right, and then just as lightly, you're going to come right back up. Unravel, set both feet right back down. Inhale, roll shoulders up. Exhale, roll them back down. So your knees are soft. Uh, let's kind of un unwind a little bit by doing just half sun salutes. Inhale, reach your arms out and up. Exhale, hinge all the way forward from your hips, hands above or below your knees. Inhale, half, halfway up, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Long inhale, let's do all the way right back up. Palms come together and, just, and then trace the midline. Inhale, reach your arms out and up. Exhale, hinge forward. Hands up over below the knees, inhale halfway. Exhale, four fold. Long inhale, let's do it right back up. Palms come together and trace them in line. Yeah, one more time. Inhale. Exhale. Hands up over below the knees, inhale halfway. Mm -hmm. And then exhale forward, fold. And this next time, just hold it here, maybe take hold of opposite elbows and just swing a little bit more side to side. You're looking at your knees. Yeah, keep your knees really nice and soft. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay, and then just as gently as you come right back up, let's step your feet out. So your heels are in, toes are out. Bend your knees, sink your seat towards knee level and just move a little bit side to side. Um, this is a good one to stay if you've got any um, knee sensitivities this morning, because I know day to day, it just kind of sort of changes, right? Um, and if you want, you can come into more of your full squat, draw your heels in, bend your knees, knees stay right above your ankles and just move a bit side to side. But stay really nice and lengthen, because I know the temptation is to want to kind of shrink down, just open up right here. So maybe it's a good Time to kind of do more of a lotus, just open here. Deep inhale, now deep exhale. Now when you're ready, bring one hand in front of you, one hand behind you. Sit, sit all the way down, soles of your feet together, knees apart, lengthen through spine and just move a little bit side to side. You can stay here or draw your toes further away from you. Slide your forearms behind your calves and draw your forehead towards your heels. Relax your shoulders. All right, and then slowly as you come right back up, 
Um, let's come all the way on to your back. So just draw your knees to your chest and move a little bit side to side. One hand on each knee and start to circle your knees, releasing through the low back, releasing through the sacrum. So make it kind of more of a massage. You can move it in more of a U shape too, if um, that feels better. One hand on each knee, you can start to circle your knees in towards you. And then reverse. And then as you um, come right back center, set your feet down onto the ground, bring your right ankle right above your left knee. Just move your hips a little bit more side to side again. And then come into a twist. So you can bring your right leg over your left, come into a twist. You can keep your legs into um, figure four and then come into a twist. Yeah, so if you have a favorite variation of a twi recline twist, feel free to go into that. as you come right back center switch so left ankle comes right above your right knee a little bit more side to side when you're ready come into that recline twist on the other side Really, as you come right back center, set your feet down onto the ground. So your feet are going to be the let them parallel, hands by your side. Inhale, you're gonna lift your hips, lift your arms all the way up overhead. And as you exhale, lower your hands and your hips simultaneously down onto the floor. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower it right back down. Okay, and then settle right back here. So now coming into back into that lotus mudra and the breath, yeah? So you're gonna bring your hands right in front of your heart center. So it's you get a little seedling. And now as you inhale, you're gonna lift your hips as you open out into a lotus. Exhale, close. Okay, so this will be the first two or three. And then we'll just make it into a big, big lotus. Exhale. One more time. Inhale, lift. And then exhale, close. Okay, so that's always option one. Otherwise, it's a little bit of a longer sequence. So this time, think of a really big lotus that you are trying to make blue. Draw your hips up, your arms up as you Exhale, open your arms as you lower your hips. Inhale, lift your hips as you bring your palms together. Bring your arms down, your hips down. Yeah. So again, the lotus is going back into the mudra or into the mud. And then inhale, 
Lift everything as it lifts, lifts, lifts. Lower your hips as your arms open up. So the lotus is so big that it's, um, you can't quite carry the weight of it. Yeah, and then slowly lift your hips up as you close the pedals for the night and then you pull everything inwards. Okay, so just in here. So lifting all the way up, up towards the sun. Open, lower your hips, arms open. Exhale, lift your hips as your palms come together. Lower everything right back down. Okay, this next time, just bring your knees in towards your chest and move a little bit more side to side. So one hand on each knee, start to circle your knees, releasing any sort of tension that may have built up from the back of the back. Okay, and then um, going a little bit more side to side. So bring your arms, uh, bring your knees out. Right knee comes down as your left knee follows. Fetal position on one side, and then inhale, open into this kind of like a ha little little ha happy baby, and then switch directions. So you're just kind of rolling side to side, releasing hips, releasing back. And this next time, as you come back center, come into have full happy baby. Hands to the instep or the outside of your feet. Let the thigh bones be heavy, thigh bones be heavy, um, thigh bones and hip bones be heavy, and just move side to side. You can always extend one leg out at a time. If you need a little bit more support, um, a strap across both feet, holding onto the strap, great option too. In fact, that option, you can even extend your legs out a little bit more. Um, Again, just let your low back dictate what it needs at this moment. Sorry, angry baby boy just woke up from his nap. Um, and slowly release both feet down onto the floor. Draw your feet about mat width apart, knees towards each other and just move a little bit side to side. Let's stand on the pancake from here. Now, you're gonna bring your palms upwards as your knees come back center. So when your knees go over towards the right, flip your left palm down, look in the same direction as your knees. Inhale, you're gonna come right back center, both palms flip up and bring your knees to the left as your right palm flips down. And then come right back center. And then just continue here. So you're looking away from the flipped palm. And slowly as you come right back center, um, if there's any other pose that your body is still requesting of you, go into that pose. Otherwise, go straight into your Shavasana. So legs can extend, legs can be up the wall, flip your palms up. So take a deep inhale. And a deep exhale all the way out.
close that there was also a Take um, a deep inhale again. Exhale through the mouth. Put your arms all the way up overhead. Then as you exhale, bring your knees to your chest and just move a little bit side to side. Yeah. Um, take your time. You have legs up the wall. And you can do is as you sit up, you can rest your back against the wall. Otherwise, take your time sitting up. Those shoulders up towards the ears and then exhale, pull them back. Drawing our arms out and up all the way overhead. And bring your palms together, trace them in line. You can always end with um, the lotus mudra too, right in front of your heart. And exhale. Last breath in. Exhale. With love and gratitude. Namaste. Thank you so much.